Good morning, Yarnabees. I am on my way to Michael's before work. <laughs> um, I played yarn chicken and lost. <clears throat> I was making that um, poncho and I had that much left um, for the one row and I lost the, the game. So, <clears throat> Uh, the yarn I was using, I don't know if, I can't remember if it was Michael's yarn or if it was a yarn from Hobby Lobby. I'm hoping that it's a yarn that I can get at Michael's and I hope it's not a, an old yarn that is discontinued because when they, I did notice that when they switched to the, um, the value brand when they switched it that it switched oh I need coffee you guys um, when they switched it to loops and threads some of the colors did not go with it uh, so hmm yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna open pray and try and come up with something that will work because I, I can't just put any old yarn in there because it's a marled yarn, not marled, it's um, what's it called? Like a heathered kind of look. Uh, yeah. So, um, it'll just look really, you'll really be able to see it if I just put like a dark purple or a, you know, something in there. <clears throat> So we're going to go and we're going to see what we can find and I'm going to get some t-shirts because uh, I've got a bunch of decals coming and I'm going to put the decals on the shirts for the shop. So, and yeah. So anyway, so let's go. kind of on a weird angle. I'm driving. Um, I'm on my way to my chiropractor appointment. Um, my second one. I, but it, I didn't get adjusted yesterday. Yesterday she was just talking about, you know, what my issues are and um, 
trying to get a feel for what's happening and she did an exam and I'm a mess. I'm a big mess. Um, she was she was doing it wasn't like a regular chiropractor where she talks about oh well your neck is out or oh your back is out or whatever. This was all cranial and I had no idea that it was even a thing, right? Like what she said was well, most chiropractors, if not all chiropractors, don't get trained in what she does. Um, it's not part of their training. It's something as, like a specialty um, stuff. Like she has to go to school for that. So yeah, so she was touching all a lot, all my head and everything, and she <laughs> making all these sounds like oh oh. Oh, 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 that's not good. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, I, and then she's writing stuff down. And I'm like, don't do that. <laughs> like, oh, what the hell? And so she's feeling behind here and down here. And she's doing the, oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, we got to fix that. <laughs> and I was just like, what? What's happening? Um, so she basically said something to the effect of, and this is something I had no idea, that your cranium, like your skull, it's designed to be able to shift um, on like depending on what what you're doing and all that kind of stuff I thought that once you get to a certain age like as a child that your the parts of your skull no longer they're fused they don't you know that's why the babies have the soft spot and all that right I thought that it's like once that happens that your skull doesn't do it doesn't move at all right so um, so yeah so she says well it's supposed it, it's meant to shift a little bit you know to give your brain um, some space right and she said that on the on this side of my head my skull isn't moving it's not it's not flexing it's not nothing and the muscles that go around your scalp and all that stuff they're tight and it's not it's not moving um, she said that my neck all the way down my neck is out like that much um, she says that my jaw is shifted um, when I'm standing I didn't notice but when I'm standing up my shoulders are shifted to the side. So I'm not standing properly, right? Because my body is all shifted. Now, this, she said it could be from years of wear and tear. It could be from the two falls I had last year. Um, it could be, you know, from sleeping on the wrong pillow. It could be a fact, a whole bunch of different factors. So she said, the question is, can I help you? or not and she says I think I can help you she says the ringing the, or the problems in my ears she's not quite sure where that's coming from um, oh and she said my sinuses she said that everything's all messed up um, so she said that she's going to start doing the adjustments today oh, excuse me um, and then I should my sinuses should be able to drain properly um, and that <clears throat> it may not completely fix all of it like I may not um, I may still have problems with my ears but it might help long enough for me to go and wait for, to go see my ENT in November um, so yeah uh, so I was waiting to go and see her yesterday and I got a phone call from the surgeon that is supposed to be fixing my hernia um, and I have a tentative appoint a tentative surgery date for the end of May May 27th <laughs> I freaked out just a little bit 
so George and I talked about it. She says, well, we can push it if you want. And then I told her, I says, well, some things have changed. I says, now I'm on blood thinners and I'm on diabetic medication. She says, oh, okay, let me talk to the doctor and find out what he wants to do. Uh, so I'm supposed to call back on Monday. Um, and this might be going up on Monday, so I don't know. Um, and then uh, I'm going to tell her that I want to postpone the surgery. I want to wait until the end of summer, fall-ish. Because I'm going to just, I'm going to have just moved the shop and we're going to be getting into the busy season and I'm going to be in the hospital for three, at least three days. Um, my diet and everything is going to be changing. It's going to, basically the, the way that I'm going to be eating is kind of like when you have bariatric surgery. My phone's all weird. Um, it's kind of like bariatric surgery, so I'll be on a liquid diet for a while like work my way back up <clears throat> the way I eat will probably never be the same which probably isn't a bad thing so I'm a little concerned because when I talked to the surgeon when we decided to go ahead with the surgery uh, I did a video a while ago I did a video a while ago telling you guys about the appointment sorry I'm trying to fix you guys here sorry about that I'm trying to get you guys so that you're not all cockeyed or whatever. But anyway, um, so when, when I talked to him, he was saying that uh, there's a couple ways of doing this surgery. And the one way that he wanted to do the surgery is probably not going to work. Because... Um, because of the, the test, remember that swallow test that I had? That horrible procedure that I did um, that told him that the bottom of my esophagus is not functioning properly um, it's basically dead down there so because of that he has to change the surgery that he's going to do now normally it's all technical and I don't understand it all but what it basically is is where your stomach is like there's a, a sheath that your esophagus goes through and if your stomach starts pushing through that that's a hernia right so he has to push the stomach back down and then he has to put a band around the esophagus area to keep my stomach from coming up now normally that would be an okay thing if my esophagus was working properly because mine isn't, he has to leave that band open a little bit um, so that I can, my food will go down properly. Because if I've got, if my esophagus isn't contracting down there, it's not pushing the food in. So that's why I get the, you know, the, the food that comes back up. Now, I think I had that since I was a baby. Um, but who knows? Uh, so anyways, so he has to leave it open a little bit so that my food can go down. Because he says if he does the normal surgery, then I, will, I might find that I can't get food into my stomach. And that would be a really bad thing because then I'll just be throwing up my food all the time. So he says it's kind of a tricky one. Um, so I'm... I'm really, I'm really scared. So if we push the surgery, it's not going to be, I'm not going to cry over it. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I think George is right. I think we should push it to the fall because then if it's slow at the shop, I don't have to worry so much about it. I don't think my sister's going to be able to help me a whole lot. Um, she's got a lot of her own stuff going on. So, yeah. Um, so if, if it's in the fall and, and, and whatnot, then I will have time to heal 
and he said that I probably will be off work for about a month. So, yeah. I don't think I can stay away from the shop that long. But I, uh, and especially if I have any kind of complications, which I'm really hoping I don't. So, yeah. But anyway, so that's what's going on. So I'm hoping that this lady is going to be able to help me get all this stuff dealt with. figure it out. I had some other stuff I wanted to tell you guys and I totally forgot. Um, I'm, fin I'm finishing my poncho thingy. I'm just putting the tassels on it now. So that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, but did I tell you guys that in the new shop we're planning on putting a, uh, an apartment size freezer in there? And we're going to be selling like popsicles and freezies and ice cream sandwiches and stuff like that. <laughs> yes, I am. So that's gonna be fun. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna go because I think I'm here. I will talk to you guys later. <clears throat> How are you on the bees? Okay, so. <sighs> I finished, I, I got done my uh, appointment <laughs> and I was driving and I decided I'm going to stop and have some lunch because I just needed a moment. <clears throat> um, the appointment actually, the, like the actual treatment itself was actually very relaxing. I was quite surprised. I wasn't sure if she was going to do the cracking whatever or like I had no idea what she was doing, going to do. <clears throat> Turns out it was very relaxing and it was like having like a head massage um, with some a little bit of jerking motions. <clears throat> so yeah, it was, it was bizarre. Like, I've never had anything like that done before. Um, but yeah, it was like... Yeah, it was weird. She said that I would probably have a headache afterwards and it wasn't long after <clears throat> that... Oops. That my headache started. God, you guys look, feel like you're up, like, really high. <clears throat> um... So, yeah, but she was talking to me about her findings, like, with uh, yesterday's, yesterday's appointment <clears throat> and today's appointment, and she figures, she says, I definitely have to go and get a hearing, um, hearing test done, but she said that what she thinks happened with my hearing is <clears throat> in your ear you've got that the thing that looks like a sea urchin you know it's like a round spiral thing above that is two tubes one is like your for your hearing the other one is for your balance so when your ears get infected or you've got <clears throat> a cold or whatever and your ears go funny it affects your balance, right? So that's kind of where, that's where she thinks is the one of the problems. But she thinks that what happened was I got an infection of some sort in my ears. <clears throat> and because I don't have a doctor, that is if any good. Um, and I couldn't get in to see him, that the infection got worse. And now there's permanent damage. Um, the ENT will be able to tell me more. <clears throat> but she's sending me to another person closer to home. I can't remember what she called it. An octo, octo something something. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> so that they can help help me 
manage what's going on and basically live with it and help me with my balance and whatever. <clears throat> yeah, to say the least, I needed a minute. I <clears throat> am so angry at the medical system right now. I'm angry at my doctor or doc the doctor I don't have anymore for not taking this more seriously. He figured, oh, you've just got a sinus infection or something. Take this spray, <clears throat> this prescription spray and wait for your e EMT appointment. Um, yeah. So... I don't know. She says that I've, I'm going to be doing four more appoint, appointments with her to basically get my skull and my neck and like all of that, my jaw and everything back in alignment. <clears throat> and then after that, there's nothing else she can do for me. So I've got to go and see this other person. She said that when I go for my hearing test and everything, they'll figure out if I need hearing aids or whatever. And I talked to George, <coughs> excuse me, I talked to George about that. And he says, but your problem isn't a lack of hearing. Isn't your problem that everything's at a high pitch and everything's like, and I says partially, um, <coughs> It feels like I have cotton in my ears, it, it, but I'm. It's not like this side. It might be impeding my my hearing, but I can't tell. Um, yeah, I can't really tell. <clears throat> but I'm hearing things that most people can't he aren't hearing. Like, I think I was explaining this before. Oops, explaining this before. Um, the sound of the fridge that hum of the fridge sounds like 20 times more to me. Wow, what, okay, that, wow. I just had uh, a big hawk, like big, like eagle big, just coming, it's like, okay, <clears throat> that was interesting. Um, anyway, <laughs> huh, so, just totally forgot what I was saying now. Um, yeah, so my my hearing is different. It's oh yeah, the fridge. So yeah, the hum is like a. It's not a hum. It's it's as if I had my my ear up to the fridge, and <clears throat> when the the heater when the heat kicks in, like the um, the furnace. Normally you can't hear that, but I can, it's loud for me. So it's not that I'm, I, I just, like, I don't know if I'm actually lost any hearing or if it's, like, I have no idea what's going on. I don't know. <clears throat> but I'm pissed off and I'm, yeah. Uh, the medical system. I'm sure it's the same down in the States. Well, actually, no, it's not the same down in the States because down there, you guys are able to get an appointment like that for the most part. <clears throat> and then when you get your appointment, they treat you fairly decently, I think, from what I've heard. Um, yeah, yes, you've got to pay for that. <clears throat> but um, when you go into your emergency you're not in there for 10 hours like us um, yeah it's horrific we our medical system may be covered but it's shit medical system <clears throat> so yeah. anyway so now I'm going to it's only a quarter to three and I should be going back to the shop but you know what I am so done with today I am so done um, 
I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna make some tumblers. Go hunt, cuddle my dog. <sighs> she always makes me feel better. George is at work, <coughs> so I can't cuddle him. <laughs> George isn't much of a cuddler anyway. No. But anyway. All right, I'm gonna go. Um, I'll probably add to this uh, some, I don't know, maybe I'll show you some of the tumblers that I make.